I'm Carl Winter in Green Bay, where a fire destroyed a couch and part of a wall at this duplex on the west side. The electrical fire is leaving seven people without a home temporarily. The fire broke out unexpectedly late Thursday morning. It spread from these electrical cords to this couch and blew out a window. That thing came in with uh, smoke and, and flame showing and actually people coming out of windows and doors. And, and by the time we got there, they had self-evacuated, which is great. Diana Shandara and her boyfriend live here, but did not want to speak on camera. Diana tells me she scrambled outside. The upstairs neighbors were forced to leave their dog inside briefly, and one person was treated for smoke inhalation. Battalion Chief Coles says electrical fires like this can happen suddenly. Sometimes those things do fail. Um, so it's always important to keep them monitored, keep surge protectors on them. The fire department gives these tips to avoid having this problem. Check cords for frayed wiring or broken plugs. Don't pinch cords against walls or furniture or run them under carpet or across doorways. Remember that cords are not to be bundled up when plugged in because they can overheat and extension cords are for temporary use only. They also say to replace old outlets and keep heaters away from anything that can burn. It does happen and as long as you're not using the you know, overloaded extension cords and overloaded surge protectors, uh, you should be safe. Diana and her boyfriend and the other person living on the lower level were already relocated with the help of the Red Cross, but now the neighbors living upstairs tell me their furnace isn't working and they will also have to be relocated, at least temporarily. In Green Bay, Carl Winter, NBC 26.